Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the vertical alignment of the of this project one. Okay, so I I took out some of the, um, <coughs> uh, the topography and then I put in a, a, a horizontal alignment. Okay, so in this horizontal alignment, I put in uh, the the challenges and and the challenges are from zero until the end challenge of uh, 153.40 so there are two curves in this um in this horizontal alignment um we actually we need to go through all the horizontal alignment calculations to establish what is what are the um, the all the <coughs> attributes for the curves whether they are the um, simple curve or the transition curve but um sometimes we need to reduce the value of the radius because uh, we cannot put the curve inside this inside the short alignment okay so so in this case so uh, the uh, the curvature i i adopt is a uh, is radius of 30 for both curves so uh, okay we want to draw the um, uh, long section of <coughs> of this um uh, the this horizontal alignment so we will need to find out what what are the um, uh, the ground levels as well as the formation levels okay so the ground level we can get it from the um, the, the plan the horizontal plan and the formation level we will get it later on after we we have to put in the uh, the, um, the VIP and uh, VIP elevations connect the tree line then we can get the horizontal alignment okay <clears throat> so for this one uh, for the the ground level I will need to establish what are the ground levels at various changes from zero until the end change changes so I will uh, copy just put uh, some some figures in around the around this um the cha the the change so i can put in the value later on <coughs> so i put in all the just put in a, a zero value okay so um let's look at the change zero so uh the the value at change zero the the ground level value it should be between the the contour of uh, 58 and the contour of 60 so i would say um the change to be like fifth sorry the the ground level to be 59.20 okay the next one uh change 20 uh this the 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 height here it should it should be about 37.3 okay because it's, there's a spot height there as well so this this is the 58 contour this is 56 contour so i just probably i just uh, just change it to 57.30 okay so we do it the same for all the various challenges and then we should come up with the um, um, the value like this, okay, from change 0, 20, 40, and so on until the end change. After we finish that, we will try to uh, put this value inside the, the long section, the table long section. So, I will what I do is that I will copy this value, um, all this value, I copy them out. Okay, just let's bring to this um just uh the near to a table. So I just move move them around. So I know which one is which one is which. So I can change it. Okay, so a 
last ones maybe four so <coughs> i will change all the this formation level from this zero to this value okay uh to so if you look at that uh, i've changed some of the things i will okay so all this the ground level i i after i i just change it to the the value that i obtained from the from the uh from the ground plan so i got all the ground level labels after we have done the formation level then sorry after we done the ground level then we want to plot the um <coughs> this one the the from the ground the ground level curve okay so what we do is that um <coughs> Okay, just copy all this value. Um, just copy this value. I just delete those all those value first. Um, I just copy it from the other side. Uh, just copy. Just copy to it to the table here. Okay. Um, so the these are all the ground level are quite quite high, fifty nine. Uh, the lowest one is forty nine point two. I'm not going to draw from datum to zero. So I'm going to draw from datum forty. So datum forty. So everything will be the let's say the first point. It will be. Uh, instead you start from 40 instead of zero so i will draw the first point i will draw is uh the height will be 19.19.2 so I just do a line control uh i put the f at uh 19.2 second one 57.3 Sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, instead of fifty-seven point three, should should be seventeen point three. Try again. Seventeen point three. Enter. Okay, next one, uh, 16.4. Okay, next one be 16.5. Next one will be 55, so 55 is 15. Next one is um forty nine point two is nine point two. Next one is um twelve point twelve point one. And the next one will be um fifty one point six become eleven point six. The last one will be uh, eleven point four. Eleven point four. Okay. So after I finish all this, I'm going to join them up. <coughs> um, into uh, I need to join all the dots, the endpoint. Okay. So I will uh. Uh, go to the um, <coughs> uh, the long section. Uh, the I, long section I think is a uh, this one is the ground level. I double click, make it current. So I will just uh, do a P line. Let's join all the point. Um, F add so I can move it around.
Okay, the last one is not correct. Okay, so that's the ground level for, sorry, the ground level for, for this, um, the horizontal alignment. After I've done the ground level, I will need to do the formation level. So, um, in this case, I will do the, <coughs> I will, the, there will be three points. So the VIP, I will put at, uh, this, at this change at D, change at D. So, um, I will try, try, uh, uh, change this one, the formation, this one, the, the VIP go to, uh, 52. Because I've worked out, working out so, so that the 52 is a good value. So what I do is that I just, um, um, I, I change the to long section. Long section, this is the, for the formation level. Okay, I change the current layer. So I just do a line uh, from channel 80, which I want to become the, uh, the, uh, the, the change for the VIP. So in your case, probably you have to look at the dot. So see the dot is the you establish the the change of the dot. Okay. If you cannot get a change correct, probably you need to shift it a bit. The the dot along the to get the right change. Okay. So okay. So I just uh, in this case I just put twelve. Okay, that's the point. <coughs> so, so there's a there's one line, the point of a, a trap. Uh, actually, it's fifty two. So this one, this line is trap. So I will draw a line from this point, like that, to. So this is the vertical, uh, vertical line. But vertic uh, these are the uh, what's what do we call the? This is the VIP, VIP, and then these are the. So I need to draw two lines to join from the, uh, for the, uh, the first point which is same as the formation level at change zero, and the last point which is same height as the formation level at the end change. They need to be the same. So this one is um fifty three. So after we I do this, I need I can get the um, uh the <coughs> the formation level for for the all the change all the changes. Okay. Uh. Before that, I need to find out um what what is the 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 curve this one the the length of the vertical curve as well as the radius of the the vertical curve. So uh, there's a calculation that I need to, we need to look at. Um, so actually there's a table. Uh, actually you need to establish a G1 and G2. And this one we can do it first. So we, we will look at, um, <coughs> okay, this is from the, um, okay, from this, I just uh may sh find out the what is the the grade of this line. Okay, so what I do is that um <clears throat> I just uh from the uh from the from the datum I just I mark this one is nineteen point two at the VIP is twelve and at the change is eleven point four and this distance is uh from the zero to eighty is eighty. This a uh, change for VIP and from change of VIP, uh, so change of VIP to the end change for my case is seventy three point four. So if we calculate that, <coughs> uh, the first part will be um nine percent, okay nine percent. Uh, the second part will be the the will be zero point eight percent. Of course, when we look at that, uh, we when we down here we need to put actually need to be like minus. And this one is, um, this one is uh, actually is going up because uh, okay, I can find the uh, 
저희로 치, 저 체내 시, 저희 이제 실직 거인다. 이렇게 해서, 아, no, sorry, the, we, we, we don't know. Uh, because this point is, uh, this is 52. Um, This point is 52. This one is 51.4. Okay. So this one will actually is not going uphill, it's going downhill. Going downhill. Okay. <coughs> okay. So after that, we will find out the uh, the the set vertical curve uh for the bip one set vertical curve we need to find out what are the g1 and g2 okay for in this case the design speed is 50 so the headlight side distance um headlight side distance is um uh, if you look at that uh for 50 the headlight side distance is 50 55 okay Okay. So the G one is um minus uh point nine percent, second one is uh zero point eight percent. Okay. So we walk through that. Um the A is the we get the absolute value G one minus G two will get eight point two percent um we uh this is a set vertical curve so for set vertical curve the formula that we're going to use is um in this of set vertical curve when the <coughs> we have two value l l there are two value for l one is a uh, land of the side distance is less than length of vertical curve, and second one is side distance greater than vertical curve. Okay, so in this case, um, we need okay in this case we need to find out what is the uh the value. So we need to find this uh this component d into g one minus g two, the whole thing divided by d. And we get a 0 0.56, which is less than h1 equal to 1.15 meter. So we conclude that concluded that this is uh the length of vertical curve is less than length of uh side distance, and then we adopt this formula. So the L uh we put in this value, and then we can find out this is uh, equal to 71.59 meter. So we try L equal to 55 75 meter and and the k equal to uh, l divided by a. Okay, a is eight point two percent. L so give us nine point one four percent. And for this case, the k is equal to uh, fifty is twenty. So is um. So. So this one is um not sufficient. We will need a length of uh one because okay if we need that. The L equal to we need a longer length. The length you you we need to uh like uh, uh I think we need at least one eighty meter the L for K equal to twenty. So we can do it. Okay, that's our sum the our the total length of the horizontal alignment is only one fifty. So we we try to make adjustment. We reduce the speed to forty K. And in that case, the k go to eleven. Okay, forty k. Um, forty k. The so the k go to eleven, and the side distance is for uh forty. Headlight side distance. Okay, so we try uh l go to hundred meter uh. So uh. For L equal to hundred meter, K equal to hundred divided by eight point two equal to twelve point two greater than eleven plus eleven. So that's okay. So we use L equal to hundred 
and so the length of vertical curve is 100 and the radius is equal to 100k equal to 100 times 12.2 thousand uh, uh, 1220 meter so I use um, r equal to 1300 meter so after we have done that then we um, <coughs> We can establish the the radius. Uh, sorry, the uh, the we can draw the radius. Uh, okay, we we know that uh, this one the this is the we the vertical curve length is fifth is hundred. So we need to offset fifty on both sides. From at T and then fifty to the other side. Okay, we we'll, we're going to join that up. Uh, we extend it up to that point. Okay, so we know that our curve, our curve is going to start from uh here until this point okay <coughs> the radius is um one three uh one three zero zero meter so we can try the drop up uh we go to the start end radius okay start uh n And then it's one three zero zero. Okay, so this is the curve. Uh, the the curve um, between okay for the for the for the uh, the vertical alignment. Okay, after we finish that, actually we can tidy them up. Uh, so we can put a, a dot a, a curve a small circle, and on both end. So we can label this as a B B B C is the beginning of vertical curve, and this is the beginning end of vertical curve. Okay, and then we we actually can block the whole curve. Okay, the we use a P edit to uh to make into one entity. Okay. After we finish that, we we can put this one into the into this table. Okay, the change uh the V I P elevations uh the V C L the delta G K and the the B. Okay. After we finish that, then we need to um change the uh the the scale dif differently. Okay. So um to to change the scale, actually we need to block the whole thing. Okay. So um I just copy from from here. It's actually because I I have uh block this up already um, let's copy this one so I will going to uh, this um, make do the whole thing made to a block I go to um, draw a uh, block make block um I just put uh let's say x and I okay and I pick object so I pick the this one and I'm going to block everything all the line the circle the circle I will leave it as such I will not going to block them okay and then I enter and I need to pick point otherwise because I need to need the reference point, so I want to make the reference point here. Okay, this is the XYZ component, and we're not gonna convert them into the block. Okay, so I say okay. So this these are block now. Okay, these are these are these are becoming one block. So now I can what I can do is that I will move them. I will change the property of this. Okay, when I click this, uh, 
we can see that you know for this block the uh all the things that the the there are this geometry that is scale at y z so the for this case the horizontal curve is one to one thousand and the vertical uh sorry the horizontal horizontal distance is one to one thousand vertical distance is one to two hundred so that's we need to change the scale to five times so i change to five that's uh okay so the thing just um uh increase by five the y and then we reference to the this point <coughs> okay after that then we can tidy up and then we um we would extend the line from from the from the table until the this curve we until this curve probably we need to to explore it to so that you can join the uh to extend if you uh, it's a block you can't extend the line to the block so you need to explore it first so after you have finished that you join all the line and then uh then you can label them properly okay and by the way um Actually, I missed out one point. Okay, so after we have find the uh, uh this curve, the vertical, the uh this one, the uh the formation level, then what we can we can use this uh level, this this uh curve to find the formation levels. So how what we can do is that we um we just uh, do the dimensions uh, for this vertical curve, just all the dimensions at the various changes from 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 100, and so on. We got all the values here. So, so we, we know that this is with reference from, uh, with, with, reference, with reference to datum 40. So actually this height is uh, 19.2 plus 40, so it's 59.2. This one will be 17.3 plus 40, so it will be 57.3. Okay, so with that, we can actually put in all the values, the formation level, and we can, after we tidy them up, we, uh, the, the long section will be look like this. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.